Hey everybody, I'm just showing you the electric grill and griddle. I've already got it on with the temperature probe heated up for this chicken temperature. Oh, we need to vote last it. Put it at 165, but it actually turned it up to 175 because I find that it just gives it a little bit extra. And I just put the temperature or the probe away from the bone into the fattiest section here that I can find. And then I'm just going to put this down. So when you put this the lid down, you can actually set it so that it, it's hovering over top and it's on the meat or off the meat as much as you want. This is really nice because you have the grill mark on it, but it doesn't have to smush the meat. So you can set it just like that, and then as soon as I'm ready, I just push this button again, and it starts cooking, and it, it will adjust it and tell me as soon as it's, it's already telling me it's at 52 degrees. So that's what the temperature probe is at, and it will carry on. Now, Ed, there's lots of food settings in here, which is great because that means you don't have to figure things out for yourself. So you can um, do the temperature for the top and the bottom grill separately. Um, you can have sear, panini, grill, griddle, keep warm. And again, it opens up flat, so it's a huge cooking surface. This was a big um, family package of meat that I did. I always do big and I always get lots done. And usually with my chicken breast, I um, fillet them. I use my frozen cuts and I um, cut them in half. That makes things so much further. I don't know what you're feeling, but I'm always looking at ways to save money and make food go farther. We have um, hungry boys in our family. They're growing men now and they eat a lot when they come over for dinner. So I was looking for ways to save and make things go further in the kitchen. So this is going to do its job and it's going to be to tell me when it's ready. Um, so I really like the temperature probe. Um, you can, but it's also an add 30 seconds, which I really, really love. It's going to tell me when it's done, but if I open it and I think, oh, you know what, I know Aunt Margaret, if you like her chicken done a little bit more, I'm going to add 30 seconds, put the lid down and let it cook some more. Um, I love it for all of the meals. You can use it for breakfast, um, and you can be doing pancakes on one side on the flat grill, and you can be making um, um, bacon on the other side on the uh, grill. I, it also comes with waffles, irons, which is great. Um, and so really, it's for all free meals and snacks in between. And if you're not using it, you can fold it up and um, put it off to the side or put it in the cupboard. But you're going to want to be using this all the time. It's a great, great tool. And if you're looking for getting it, um, you can pay full price. But if you want to get it for less, you can get it um, and for half price as a host. Uh, or you can also now get this in your ultimate kit as a consultant. So ask me more about that. There's so many great ways to get this grill, and I'm super loving it. So, uh, yeah, we have that. And um, so thanks for listening, guys.